This video will help you with Eulerian paths and circuits. Have you ever tried to do that thing where you um, try to draw a shape and not lift um, your pen off? So for example, if this was the shape, um, this house was the shape that I was trying to draw with this cross there, um, I could try to do it by going from A to B like this to there to there and I'm stuck because from there I can't do it. So let's try and have another go at that. Let's try from here, from there to there, there, there. Success, I've done it. Okay, so I've drawn a shape um, or that shape there without actually lifting the pen off and what I've done is I've done, I've performed an Eulerian path in that instance. Um, where they're used in real terms is in terms of one example I can think of is um, imagine I had to do a, let, a letterbox drop that is drop a flyer off in these streets here. What I'd really be thinking about before I um, started dropping off the flyers is what's the most efficient way I can possibly drop these leaflets off and that is to not um, go back along my tracks. I only want to go down a street, I don't want to go back up it because that would be um, a waste of time. So what would be the optimal route that I could take through these streets here so that I didn't actually have to backtrack? So that's where it would actually be used and I might go up Bell Street in this example, go down um, Plenty Road um, along Garnet Street and um, this would be a problem here because if I go back to there I then will need to go back along here. So again, what I'd be um, doing is thinking about that. So what I want to do with example one then is explore whether an Eulerian path or circuit is actually possible on this particular graph. So the way I do that is I can trial and error it, um, but um, I want to know for certain whether it's possible before I start a trial and error approach. So to do it, I actually write down the degree of all of the vertices. So vertex A has a degree of 3, vertex B has a degree of 2, C has a degree of 3, and D has a degree of 2. Now what we know about um, Eulerian path circuits or, what, or others is that an Eulerian path is possible when there's two odd degree vertices. An Eulerian circuit is possible when the all vertices have an even degree and neither is possible if there's one or more than two odd degree vertices. So let's just check out what's happened here. We've got two odd degree vertices so according to the definition what we're going to get is an Eulerian path. Now an Eulerian path is one that starts at one vertex and will finish at another. Okay so let's try it out and I'm going to start at vertex C. The reason I'm doing that is you'll find from experience that an Eulerian path can only be drawn when you start with the vertex of odd degrees. So I'll start with C because it has a degree of 3 and I'm going to go to B. So let's write the path down C to B, B to A, A to, let's go to C, C to D, and D to A. So you'll notice that we started at C, finished at A. That's an Eulerian path. Now an Eulerian circuit is an example of an Eulerian path, but what will happen is it starts and finishes, or it will start and finish at exactly the same vertex. Let's check out another example. So this is our second example here, and again we start the same way. To work out whether a path or a circuit or neither is possible, Let's um, write the degree of each of the vertices. So A has a degree of 4, B has a degree of 2, C has a degree of 4, D has a degree of 4, and E has a degree of 2. So what we've noted there is that all of the vertices have an even degree. This graph has an Eulerian circuit, so let's write it down. Uh, I'm going to start at E for this one and what will happen is I'll be able to draw this and uh, traverse all of the edges without um, and what will happen is I'll end up back at vertex E. 
So let's write down E first of all. From E, I'll go to A. A to D. D back to vertex A. That's allowed, remember, I am only allowed to use each edge once, but I'm allowed to return to the same vertex. Okay, from A, I'll go to B. From B, I'll go to C. C to D, and I'll use this particular edge. From D, I'll go down to C and C back to E. So that's my Eulerian circuit.